the Sri Lanka government has been committing human rights violations against the Tamil population for the last 50 years. Uh, one of them, one type of human rights violation is relate, actively related to the conflict. The other is related to uh, the, the sort of uh, uh, violations that have occurred in the course of time, times of peace, but basically uh, affects the Tamil's right to equality and their right to the freedom of expression and uh, matters pertaining to that. For instance, uh, the fact that the Tamils can't use their language the same way that the Sinhalese people can means that there is a rights violation there. They are, they, there is also uh, practical problems associated with their employment because people who know Sinhala, especially if you are going to join the government service and so on, stand a better chance than others. Uh, also, uh, in terms of education, the, the setup is such that uh, the Tamil areas find it more difficult to get uh, students into universities than areas outside. In terms of the conflict, there has been continuous violation of human rights. For instance, even right now, you find people who are, who are being killed uh, there are cases of disappearances, extrajudicial killings and so on. Uh, and that is perpetrated by the army on the Tamil people of the North and East. And uh, that is something that uh, has been going on for the last so many years. It intensifies when war intensifies and it's less when it's less. Journalists have been killed. Journalists who are writing on Tamil affairs have been killed. Then there is uh, certain Tamil newspapers are not allowed to circulate in certain areas because paramilitary groups that work with the government have not allowed them to free freely distribute those magazines or newspapers. At the same time, the, the army uh, and has, uh, has walked into places and they have basically told their threatened staff of newspapers and so on and asked them not to publish certain things. Uh, in other instances, editors were called to the uh, army uh, camps and basically told that certain things are not being uh, that are being said are not to the liking of the military and things like that. So at the same time, there has been a restriction of news print going to certain parts of the northeast, and all those things have been. Uh, have, have had a detrimental effect on the freedom of speech. And the answer might not be a reprimand, the answer might be a bullet. So that's the fear. You see, a peaceful solution would mean that it has to be a political solution. And a political solution would mean that you have to have a set of proposals that you can put forward to the other party and say, okay, these are our proposals. Uh, what do you say to that? Uh, the problem is that as of now, what the Sri Lanka government has come up with uh, are proposals that were rejected by the Tamil people uh, uh, 20 years ago. And those proposals are so ridiculous that the Sinhala people themselves look at it and laugh. So what you have is a situation where you have to militarily try to contain the LGT. But if you had, if you were containing the LGT militarily, but you had something to put forward to them and say, look, this containment thing will not go on, or go on and on. And if you want to talk, we can talk, but these are our terms. And you put forward acceptable terms, the LTT will be willing to talk, I believe. But when those terms are not acceptable, what the LTT says is, look, uh, these are not acceptable. So what you are trying to do with this, giving, putting forward these proposals, is to buy time and try to tell the international community, look, 
we are coming up with proposals and the LTT is not accepting it and that type of uh, you know propaganda and what the LTT says if that is what you expect uh, us to fall for we are going to fall for that and they continue fighting and then the containment problem continues for the power and uh, therefore you have a situation where there is no peaceful solution or peaceful uh, solution put forward but a continuation of war.